Late stage cancers very often involve the brain, not to be confused with brain cancer, which originated there. Metastatic tumors spread to the brain from somewhere else. The brain uh, consumes about 25% of all the oxygen that our body takes in. And in order to consume that much oxygen to do all of its functioning and work, it needs to have a pretty healthy blood supply. And um, in part, it's because of that really dense blood supply that uh, it's a favored place for metastasis. Cancer that spread to the brain tends to reveal itself quickly, with symptoms including sudden headaches, nausea, vomiting, seizures, or strokes. An MRI can provide insights on masses in the brain, even before a biopsy. We see that there's not just one tumor, but uh, there is a number of them, and they're scattered throughout the brain. That typically represents a metastatic cancer. That's one that has seeded the brain uh, in a number of areas within it uh, from some uh, source outside of the brain. Determining the true nature is critical in treating the cancer. The diagnosis of a metastatic cancer to the brain can uh, impact uh, subsequent therapies that we would do for those patients that may look very different than how we treat a patient who has a, br a primary brain tumor. Some primary cancers are slow-growing and less harmful. Cancers that travel to the brain tend to be more aggressive and may have spread to other parts of the body as well. That discovery will inform subsequent decisions for other types of therapy, such as chemotherapy, or radiation therapy, or perhaps surgery. Knowledge is power. It's especially true with brain cancer, giving doctors the best chance for meaningful treatment. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.